Hey everyone, today we are back with the next part of the Infected by the Amazing Author Kate. Our reaction is going to be wild today because we are trying to save Estefania because she ran away from the community and we went through lots of drama in the last chapter. Go watch my reaction to that one if you haven't already or just go read it on the app, either or. And today we are going to move on to this drama. We gotta save Estefania. It's four in the morning and I'm tired, but you know what? We're in the mood. We got the lights off. Gonna get the scares on. <laughs> Let's jump into this. Let's jump into this drama. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go follow Kate on her Instagram. It is linked down below. And go read the story, of course. And let me know what happens in your version of the story. I want to know so badly. Anyway, without further ado, let's start the drama. Okay, so Estefania is up in a tree and the zombies are about to get her, like, right now. So, we need to do something. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, we gotta take out the zombies. She won't be able to hold on for long. Oh, gosh, I'm scared I'm making the wrong choices. I get so stressed. Bam! Hit them! Boom, boom, boom! Take them out. <laughs> oh, wait, they're coming still. Kareem, is that you? Just hold on, Steph. We're gonna save you. I don't, I don't know if I can. <gasps> oh! Oh, go to Mira, go. Oh my gosh, Steph. She's alive. She's alive, everybody. I know we found that out at the end of the last video slash chapter, but officially she is here and she didn't fall into the zombies and she wasn't ripped shred shred. So she's alive still so far. Steph, are you okay? Why did you come after me? <gasps> Excuse me? Why would you put yourselves in danger like that? I'm just weighing the whole group down and you all know it. Oh, Tamira said it herself. I'm just, I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm, I'm sorry, Estefania. You're, you're what? I'm sorry for what I said to you last night at camp. And for the way I've been treating you for the last year. I, I was jealous, okay? You, you were jealous of me? We gotta find this tea out. But I, you could have everything anyone could ever. You're rich and popular and athletic and, and brave. You have everything I don't. That's not true. I don't have your brain. And I, I wouldn't have had the scholarship to Eastage either. What? Eastage? Wait, isn't that the scholarship only the student with like the top grades in a school gets? Is it even possible to get that with the B average? I never had a B average. Okay, so Tamir is finally spilling the tea that she is so smart. I have the highest score in our grade. After Estefania. What? But you always said, why would you lie about... I, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I just want you to know I'm sorry. I don't think you're useless. If it weren't for you, we would have died back at school. We never have gotten that car hot wired without you. You saved us and I've been treating you like trash. All because of a grudge that doesn't mean anything anymore. Okay, so Tamira was just had the grudge because she was behind Estefania and she wanted the scholarship, of course. You don't have to forgive me. I just want you to know how how sorry I am. Are you okay, Steph? I'm, I'm so sorry. I ran off and put you all in danger. I just, mom and papa, I wanted, I needed to, I didn't think you'd come after me. Steph, of course they come after you. Like, girl, we are not going to leave you. You are part of our little mini community now. We couldn't just sit by knowing you could be in trouble. And besides, we're a team. No one gets left behind. I thank you. Okay, I feel so good that we finally got Estefania and that we got rid of all the other, like, trash, like, Chief Carter in the last one. Goodbye. Like, okay, I don't mean to alarm you guys, but we better get out of here. We just made hell of a lot of noise. We won't stay alone for long. You okay to walk, Einstein? Your legs are shaking. Ah, uh, yes, I'll get it together. Okay, let's go. Wait, Kareem. Yeah. Estefania still needs her glasses. Like, why don't you know what? I would give them back to her, but I think her and Kareem need some time together. So why don't you give a- Oh yeah, I totally forgot all about them. I'll give them back now. Steph, wait. Oh, Kareem, is something wrong? I found these on the highway. You might need them. Oh, my glasses. I thought I lost them. Here. Ooh, look at him put her glasses on. <laughs> look at- she's all so excited. She's like, <gasps> like, thank you, Kareem. It's nothing. I do anything for my friends. Oh, yes, of course, friends. She wants more than friends, Kareem. Come on, we better go. Tamir and Cody are waiting. Let's hurry. 
You finally come to an open area with plenty of visibility as we see that homie down there. You look around, but the only zombie in the vicinity is too decomposed to move. Okay, seems like a safe enough place to discuss our next move. Shouldn't we just take the highway back to the rooftop? About that, we're not going back. Oh yes, of course, the chief. Little does Estefania know what went down. The chief is actually no longer a problem. Really, why not? Because we pushed him off the roof. <laughs> Excuse me? He kind of got bit on a run and didn't tell anyone and zombed out in the middle of the community. <laughs> she missed the D. Is everyone okay? Miraculously, yes. Daniel held him at bay and the rest of us pushed him over the edge. Oh my gosh, that was such a moment, you guys. Like, I really thought poor Daniel was gonna go, but we saved him. Thank goodness. But if the chief is gone, what's stopping us from going back and living there safely? Would we really be safe, though? Something like this could happen again. And who knows what would happen next time. There may have been no casualties today, but that's not to say there won't be if there's a next time. Of course, I suppose the idea of safety is relative, but now what? I say we head out of the city as we originally planned. Wakefield Pass is the closest exit to where we are. The chief wouldn't have planned to go there if there wasn't in a safe escape route. A tunnel cutting through the mountains. It's the perfect place to barricade. Maybe someone plans to turn it into some kind of evacuation or quarantine point. If they're in cahoots with the chief, we'll need to watch our step. True, whoever's there must have sent the chief that memo. That means they could be connected to the outbreak. They could be dangerous. Agreed, we have to tread carefully. And that ominous 21 days things doesn't make me feel any better. How long do we have again? Maybe we should get there before that time passes. True, like, I'm scared what they're gonna do is try to, like, destroy the city or try to, like, do some. Uh, approximately four days. That's a little walking to do in that little time. Oh dear, I'm sorry, I lost us at least 24 hours by running off like that. I was foolish. No, it's my fault for driving off. I hadn't... Never mind that. That's behind us. Let's focus on what we can do now. Could we find another car? We're next to the highway. The highway is trashed muscles. Unless we can find a car as thin as a bicycle, there's no way. Bicycle! Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> Please excuse me. But I saw a sports store as I was running along the highway. Oh yeah, I know where you're talking about. I go there all the time. West Hill Sports Planet, of course. We don't need a car as thin as a bicycle. We can get actual bicycles. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense than what I just said. I guess we're lucky you ran off after all. I'm not sure that's exactly true, but I'm glad we have a planet. Okay, so now they gotta get the bicycles and see what they can do from there, but I know that is not the end of the, their struggle. Okay, team, follow me. Let's go and get those bikes. Tamira and Kareem lead you to the sports. So why do I wish we all got motorcycles and we're zooming around the city? That's so unrealistic, but it's a cute idea. You meet a few stray zombies on the way, but take them out with a well-aimed blow from a baseball bat. Oh, these are cute. The little pastel ones up top, I'm living for them. Rows of pristine bicycles of all kinds are lined up before you. You make a beeline for the mountain bikes. Okay, true, we can't have those. They're so beautiful. They look like they can handle rough terrain, and that's all that matters. They're all locked, though. Don't worry, I've got my bike here. I've seen where they keep the keys. Now let's choose some new wheels. Oh, look at this. Oh, we zoom in, like. The five of you speed along the highway, wind in your face and spirits. I out of my way, zombies. Like, bam, hit them with that front wheel. You encounter a few zombies, but easily ride around and pass them before they can even react. You pass the wholesale mark. Kareem gives a small salute towards it as you ride by. But eventually, the afternoon sun begins to dip and the shadows grow longer. We need a safe place to rest for the night. If any of us hit a zombie in the dark and flip off our bikes, that's the end. What was the original plan? Cody mentioned a camping ground. Right, that's pretty close to here, only about half hour right off the highway. I say we do it. We've got sleeping bags from the community. It'll be just like real camping. Oh, goody. Do you think it's still safe? The zombies have had some time to spread out. The place I'm thinking about, it should be unless zombies have evolved enough to start climbing cliffs. I don't like the sound of that. Just trust me. You ride towards the mountains. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Eventually, the road grows too steep to ride and you get off your bicycles and push. Finally, Cody signals for yourself. The one thing that good about getting the mountains and the forest is hopefully there's no zombies because, like, you know, like, there's a society there, so... That is a, a big waterfall. This place is beautiful. Yeah, the view from up there is even better. The cliff you mentioned earlier, I assume we reach up there by climbing it. Correct. 
There's nothing to worry about. I climbed it all the time in elementary school. You were also obsessed with rock climbing in elementary school. Pity you seem to have lost all your upper body strength. <laughs> Pity that that's none of your business. Wait, you guys go all the way back to elementary? Yeah, like what? Oh, I see Tamira has more tea. We better get going before we run into any zombie campers, huh? Mm-hmm. We know that there is something down there, y'all. Stop hiding it. Okay, here it is. It's not an impossible climb, but it's tough enough that we won't be meeting any infected up there. Unless someone got bit and scaled a cliff. Muscles, the chances of that are really low. So this is the cliff we're climbing. Um, I guess it doesn't look so bad. I'm just gonna be up to like try to be positive for the group. Like I'm not about to do that. My little noodle arms can't go up there, but you know, more power to y'all. We'll be up there in a jiffy and safe from the zombies to boot. That's the spirit. As long as we're careful, it should be a piece of cake. It's just the actual camping part that's a problem. So any cliff scaling tips for the beginners here? Ooh. Uh-huh. Don't fall. <laughs> like, uh. Okay, so hopefully this goes okay. Okay, Kareem is helping here, so that's good. Tamir is strutting across. It's not an easy climb, but no one goes hurtling off the edge to their doom. You all take a break at the top of the waterfall, collapsing onto a large rock. Looks like we're finally safe. No zombies. And no racist corrupt cops. Now we can finally relax. Hold your horses, muscles. It's gonna be dark soon and we need to set up camp. We're gonna need to build a shelter. There's plenty of logs and large branches. Yeah. Should be easy to construct a shelter with the tarps we brought from the community. I'll take care of it. I think I remember enough from what you taught. I mean, I should be able to handle it. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Let's go change out of these damp clothes and find somewhere to set up. There is so many secrets going around in this. My goodness, especially Tamira, she really has all of it. This seems like a decent spot to set up. Yeah, we can use this tree as a frame for it. And Cody has so much more to him that we need to find out. I'll leave that to you, Tam. I'd also like to find some fresh food before dark. We did bring rations, you know. Yeah, but it's all dry stuff that we should save for emergencies. There's a ton of forageable food around. We'd be fools not to make use of it. Anyway, while I'm doing that, could one of you build a fire? I think I'll... Okay, build a fire myself, build a fire, build a shelter, go looking for food. Let's do... Hmm, you know, let's go look for food for Cody. I'll go and look for food with you. Sure, I could use the extra eyes and hands. Cream, why don't you... help Tamira build the shelter? I feel like... Well, I don't know, y'all. What should we do? Like, build a fire with Estefania and Tamira build the shelter? Or... Why don't, like, both of them build the shelter and, like, Estefani can just make a fire? Like, let's do this thing. I'll build a fire then. I think I read about the method in a book once. Go look for a hard dry rock. If you strike it against some steel, it should spark. Okay, I have a knife in my bag. Would that do? Uh, yeah, it would. Why do you... Oh, I took one and left the settlement for defense. I still got a lighter from the gas station. Why don't you use that? Oh, well, in that case, it'll be easy. All right, let's go get some grub, Tatella. Lead the way. Okay, so I figured, like, I wanted to put Kareem and Estefania together for, like, the romance, but I feel like if we're, like, being, you know, really doing this stuff, me and Cody can get food, Tamir and Kareem need to build a shelter together, and, like, the fire can just be Estefania. By the time night falls, you have a makeshift tent built using branches and tarp, a cheerful, crackling fire, and a good haul of wild berries, nuts, and mushrooms. Muscles, can you eat trout? Yeah, I think trout's a lol, thanks. And you're 100% sure these mushrooms aren't poisonous. Thotella, for the last time. I know a Chanterelle when I see one. I don't know if I said that right, y'all. Don't worry, DJ. Cody knows his mushrooms. He's never... Uh, he just seems pretty knowledgeable about survival stuff. Once again, what is all this, y'all? Okay, so even I can tell something weird is going on between you guys. Yes! Is there, like, a reason you're trying to hide it, or... Tell the tea, y'all. We're by the campfire. Not really. It's nothing scandalous. We're just, we're old friends. Ooh, or we were old friends. Really? I never saw the two of you together, even during freshman year. Right? We need to know about this. Yeah, we weren't really talking by that time. But we were best friends when we were kids. How come you never told me? Oh, she'd forgotten all about me by high school. That's not true. If you hadn't kept rejecting my efforts to get you to talk, she cut herself off. You glance at Cody's face. He looks strangely relieved. The clearing grows silent. You speak hesitantly, trying to break the awkwardness. So, how the two of you meet seems cool. Yeah. 
It's actually kind of coincidence that you bring that up now. I'm not sure how it's a coincidence. It's because we met on a camping trip. Ooh, okay, flashback time. I grew up in a rich neighborhood. So it's no surprise that my school is full of very well-off children. Cody and I weren't actually in the same class at school. But we ended up in the same camp troop. I don't know whose bright idea it was to mix the classes up, but I was placed in a group where I didn't know anyone. Hey, can I sit here? I tried to make friends. Uh, I'm saving this spot for my friend. Oh, okay, sorry. But it didn't go too well. At first, everyone just kind of ignored me, but then night fell. Hey, oops, sorry, didn't you see you there in the dark? Excuse me? Um, excuse me? Wait, you mean Tamira's over there? I can't see her. Maybe she's invisible. I think she just disappeared. Can they? Or maybe you all need glasses because I can see her just fine. Oh, and there's Cody defending her. Yeah, you should all look freaking. Yes, be ashamed of yourselves. Although, if she does have the power of invisibility, maybe she's lucky. That means that the bears won't eat her, and they'll eat the rest of them, little kids. Don't don't be stupid, Cody. Like, the teachers wouldn't bring us out here if there were any bears. It's like, I get it. Like, the little kids are going to make stupid jokes, but it's like, ugh. How do you know that? Maybe the teachers don't know about them. The last time I camped here, I heard this weird sniffing outside my tent in the middle of the night, and there were huge paw prints of the mud in the morning. Oh, <laughs> he's going off. But who knows? We're probably safe. Probably. <laughs> that's so sweet he was so nice in defending here come on I want to show you something leave all those freaking loser kids behind like the bears are coming wait and not the good kind of bears either are there other really bears in this forest of course not but you just said the last time you camped here I've never been here before in my life do you mean you just lied my mom calls it creative storytelling no, come on. There's something I want you to see. It's not too far, just to the lake behind the cabins. It's so sweet. Their little friendship is like, what happened? The stars are real bright out here, right? Why? Why are you being so nice to me? Why? A tiger must always stand up for others. He is so sweet. Did you just call yourself a tiger? You don't know tigers. Uh, they're a type of orange and black star big cat. No, it's my scouting group, you know, like girl guides or boy scouts. We have tigers here in Escania. Oh, I never heard of it. So what did you want to show me? What's your star sign? Uh, Capricorn. Okay, see that bright kind of blue colored star right there? Yeah? Follow it down kind of to the left. Now see those stars shaped like an arrowhead? Uh, I don't know if I... No, wait, you mean the ones that kind of look like a bent triangle? Yeah, that one. That's Capricorn. It's your constellation. Wow. But if Capricorn is meant to be a goat, why do the stars look like a triangle someone squashed? Don't ask me. I got no idea. This is so cute, like little friends. So it's like, thanks for looking at the stars with me. Thanks for showing them to me. Well, I better get back to the boys' cabin now. Night, Tamira. Good night, tiger. On oh, their little cute little friendship. I want to know what like caused it to like crumble because they're adorable. And after that, we just stayed friends. Cody, yeah. Are you guys joking? You were actually a Boy Scout, a tiger, but yes. Is there a problem with that? So that makes you a bad boy Boy Scout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Laugh it up, chuckles. Eat your chest as before they burn. Well, your survival skills make a lot more sense now. I don't know many other people our age who can catch trout with their bare hands. But if you guys were such great friends back then, what changed that? Yes, that's what I really want to know. <gasps> Is he not? I'm going to take a bit of a walk. Be back later. I shouldn't have asked that, huh? It's okay, DJ. He probably just needs a bit of time to himself. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I guess he's not used to constantly being around other people for so long. Let's give him some space. The fire begins to die down and Estefania's eyelids begin to drip. And as she conveniently just falls onto her little man Kareem's little arm, but Cody isn't back yet. Okay, now I'm getting worried. Where is he? Maybe someone should go check on him just in case. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to volunteer to go, of course, because we got to go find out. Let's check on him. Can I clean up the cans out to you guys? Y'all clean, of course. And thank you. I didn't like the idea of going alone into the woods. Will you be all right by yourself? Sure, we're safe up here, right? Okay, good luck, DJ. 
Okay, so now we gotta go find, hopefully we find out what, like, happened with him. The woods seem sinister now that you're alone in the dark. You listen intently for any sign that someone or something is there with you. You don't dare call out for Cody. Who knows what else could be in these woods? <gasps> okay, so that was the end of the chapter. So we rescued Estefania. Thank goodness. We got cute. We got to the top of a little cliff, our cute little forest. We're out here in our campsite. Everything's good. And we found out some tea that Cody and Tamira were like best friends back in the day. And something clearly happened and Cody is very uncomfortable. He left into the forest and we went to go after him to find our man. And there is something out there with us. So we don't know what it is. We're going to find out soon. <laughs> I'm scared for our character. It's just, it doesn't end for her. Poor thing. Like she goes through one thing after the next. Anyway, though, I really, really hope you all enjoyed the chapter. Once again, give it a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And please go follow Kate and, of course, her artist. Go follow Instagram down below. And go show lots of love because this is an amazing story. And go read it yourself and let me know what happens in your version of the story. I want to know what's the romance with the other people like. What happened? What happened with Daniel? What happened through all the drama? Let me know down below. Anyway, I really, really hope you all enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see the next one. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Bye, everyone. Super chill with the